Dear students, let's continue our practice on mathematics. So, today's topic is long division process and the composition of fractions. So, let's begin with the long division process. First example, divide using the long division method this two polynomials. Firstly, I think all of you know how to divide two numbers by columns and here we also use this method of columns so it will be now 6x squared minus 2x minus 28 divided by 2x plus 4 so here uh, let's Consider the first term. This is 6x squared, and in our divider it is 2x just. And what we need to multiply to 2x to get 6x squared? We need to multiply here 3x. Yes, this is first term of our uh, answer. So it will be 6 times 6, uh, 3x times 2x. This is 6 x squared it looks like with numbers and plus 12 x okay let's subtract them and now they are cancelled it will be zero and we need to get here zero and here we have minus 2x minus with this minus minus 12 so it will be minus 24 I mean 40, sorry. Minus 2, minus 12, it will be minus 40. Minus 40x. And now we have the third term. Let's move this third term uh, to down and it will be minus 28 here. And now what should we multiply to 2x to get minus 40x? If this is minus. 7. So it will be minus 40 x and minus 28. Now we got the same expression. When we subtract them, we will get 0. So 0 is a reminder of our division. So the answer is 3x minus 7 here. So 3, 6x squared minus 2x two, minus, two minus 28 divided by 2x plus 4. Plus 4 we get 3x minus 7. This is the answer. Okay, now the next thing. Example number two. And now let's consider the second example. So divide using the long division method. Uh, two operations. So here again we will use this long division method, dividing by columns. So three x cubed plus four x squared minus seven x minus five. Divide by 3x minus 2. Okay, so firstly, uh, again, we need to consider the first term of dividend. This one, this is 3x cubed, and here we have 3x in divider. So to get 3x cubed, we need to multiply here x squared. So it will be 3x cubed now when we multiply them, and minus 2x squared. And now let's subtract them. Here's 0. And here, plus 4 minus minus plus 2. This is 6x squared. So we, we, we need to continue this process till uh, getting a remainder. So here we have now uh, minus 7x. This one will move to the down and 6x squared. Now we need to multiply by. 
two x. Yes, plus two x. It will be six x squared now. And minus yes minus four x. Okay, now uh, let's continue, and then we have here zero. Zero and the minus seven minus minus plus four will be minus three x and move this minus five. Okay, now we have just minus one here. Yes, this is minus one, and then we'll get here minus three x plus two when we subtract them. It will be equal to minus 5 minus 2, it is minus 7. So we have a remainder here. And now the answer is here. Let me write here. So it is it will be x squared plus 2x minus 1 minus 7. This is answer with remainder. It's minus seven over. Yeah. Here we need to write three x minus two. Because this is divided, so we get this one and remainder and this remainder this minus seven we need to write in this form so it will be minus seven or three x minus two this is answer okay now uh, let's move to the next example so here again we write using the long division method 3x squared minus 12x plus 5 over x plus 1. Okay, now uh, here we have x squared degree. Uh, we get an x squared degree, we need to multiply first term of our divisor to 3x cubed. Yes? So it will be now 3x squared plus 3x cubed. Alright, so now let's subtract them. Here we have 0 and here we have minus 3x cubed and minus 12x. Now let's multiply this x to minus 3x squared now. And then we'll get minus 3x cubed here when we multiply. And minus 3x squared. Okay, now subtract them. Again, we have 0 here. And here 3x squared minus 12x. Now, we will multiply to what? 3 plus 3x. So we have here 3x squared plus 3x now. Okay, so when we subtract them, we have 0 and minus 12, minus 3, minus 15x plus 5. Now we need to multiply by minus 15. When we multiply by minus 15, let me continue here. So we, we, we had minus 15x plus 5. And now uh, we'll multiply by minus 15. It will be minus 15x minus 15. When we subtract them, we have 0 plus 15 minus minus plus 15 plus, uh, plus 5. So plus 5 and plus 15 it will be 20. So this is the remainder. And our answer is, let me continue here, 
answer it will be 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 15 and plus 20 over x plus 1. This is final answer. Okay, now let's continue the next example. Uh, divide the given polynomial using long division method. So minus 5x to the power minus 1 over 5x plus 5. Here we don't have any uh, terms with fourth power, third power, second power yet, but we can write just 0 times. Uh, x squared, 0 times x cubed, etc. as previous example. So, here let's begin with the first term. It will be minus 5x fifth degree, here 5x, so we need to multiply minus x fourth power. Yes? Correct. So, it will be now minus 5x5 and minus x fourth with 5 here, minus 5, x4, let's drag them, 0, and now it will be minus, double minus, 5, x4, so now, here we need to multiply now, plus x cubed, so it will be 5x fourth power and the plus 5x cubed. Let's subtract again, 0, and now it will be minus 5x cubed. And now we need to multiply here, minus 5x squared just, yes? Uh, result. So it will be now minus five x cubed and minus five x squared when we subtract them. So I will write answer here. So it will be zero. And uh, minus minus dou double minus plus five x squared. Okay, so now the next term will be the uh, just plus x. It will be five x squared plus five x. Yes. Okay. So now let's. Let's subtract them, 0, and here we have minus 5x, and the last term we have minus 1 here. So just now multiply by minus 1, and we'll get minus 5x, minus 5. When we subtract them, we have here plus 5 minus 1, it is 4, 4 is reminder. So the answer is, it's equal to this minus x fourth plus x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1, and the reminder is 4, so it will be plus 4 over 5x plus 5. This is final answer. Here, note. Uh, remember, we will 
if we have reminder, we need to write uh, as the uh, division with this divider. Yes, like this. Here we have also a reminder for. So we wrote our answer in this form. Okay, now number five, divide the given polynomial using the long division method. Uh, so, uh, let's quick mean. Big squared, this is also same with previous one. Minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus Over x squared minus x plus one. Okay, now uh, let's begin with the first term again. So here we need to multiply x squared. It will be x squared minus x cubed and plus x squared. Subtract them. We have here now zero minus three minus double minus it will be four x cubed. Now two minus one is just one x squared minus x. Now here we need to multiply four plus four x just yes. So we have four x cubed. Then minus 4x squared and plus 4x. Okay, let's subtract them. The uh, first one will be 0. Now plus minus double minus it will be 5x squared and minus 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 5x plus 1. Okay, now we have here 5x, just 5. So it will be 5x squared minus 5x and plus 5. Let's subtract them and we'll get here the reminder minus 4. So this is our reminder minus 4. So now Let's try to write your answer here. So it will be x squared plus 4x plus 5 and minus, however, we have minus 4 in your mind, minus 4 over this one. Yeah, so x squared minus x plus 1. Okay, this is the final one. We call this this method long division method. Okay, now the next section of our uh, practice. This is decomposition of fractions. So it means dividing fraction to elementary fractions. So we have three, uh, four types of elementary fractions. The first type is just a over x minus a. Next type is x a over x minus a n's power. And if we have in denominator second degree polynomial, we'll get a numerator first degree polynomial. And we have this uh, polynomial, second degree polynomial with n's power. Why we need this form? To decompose our fractions, we need one of these forms. We'll use it now. Okay, now. So, on 
only if this condition is satisfied, if it's possible to apply such hand. So, first one. So each bracket of the type x minus a located in a denominator, there correspond the fraction a over x minus a. This one. When we have in brackets in denominator x minus a exponent. And to each bracket of type x minus a n's power located in denominator, we'll consider our denominators. There corresponds the sum from n of fractions like this x minus a, x minus a squared. If we have, for example, here x minus a cubed, it will be x minus a, x minus a squared, and x minus a cubed, etc. So to each bracket of a type this one located in a denominator there corresponds the fraction in this form. If we have second degree polynomial in denominator, uh, we'll use in numerator first degree polynomial. So it will be minus one degree polynomial than denominator. If we have n's power, uh, it will be similar with second condition. So, example number one. Now I will try to show how to work this decomposition of rational fractions. So, example number one. Here we have uh, decomposed of rational fraction to partial fractions or to elementary fractions. So, look here. We have x minus 1, x plus 4, and x minus 9. So this is first type, yes? a over x minus 1, it should be. So it, when we divide to elementary fractions, it will be a1 over x minus 1, a2 over x plus 4, and a3 over x minus 9. Uh, considering this denominator, we can divide them by these uh, factors. So now, Problem is find coefficients a1, a2, a3, and uh, after same performing, we'll get. So if we do give some of the denominator here, so for example, for this one, x plus 4 times uh, x minus 9, yes, and etc. Here we have x minus 1, x minus 9, here we have x minus 1, x plus 4. Okay, now. You can see here we will get the following uh, equation. However, the denominators are equal. We can equate the numerators. So we'll get this equation. And now we have two standard ways finding these unknown coefficients. So the first method is method of unknown coefficients. Here. Uh, just we need to open all brackets and uh, grouping by uh, degrees of polynomials. For example, here we have uh, with x squared, which coefficients will be, and with x and with and zero power of x with independent term. And then uh, we can equate these corresponding coefficients. For example, x squared, the coefficient of x squared here is 1. So this is equal to 1. And x, the coefficient of x in the left side it is minus 38. So this is equal to minus 38. Then this one is in the parent term. Uh, it's equal to 157. So now we can find this three. We have three unknown coefficients and three equations. We can solve this simultaneous of equations. And the solutions of 
solution of this system is a1 is minus 3, a2 is 5, a3 is minus 5. Now, next method is method of substitution of primitive values. Uh, so again, we need to find this equation. This equation. And then uh, we can put the values of zeros in the numerator. For example, here the zeros are x is 1, x is minus 4, and x is 9. Yes? So here, if you put 1 instead of x, this is 0, and this is also 0. We get just if you put one, it will be. If you put one, uh, it will be one plus four, five. One minus nine, it is eight minus eight. So five times minus eight, it is minus forty. Minus forty a one equals two. Here also we need to put one. One minus thirty eight plus. Uh, 157 1 minus 38 plus 157 so it will be 156 uh, 58 minus 38 it will be 120 So a1, hence a1 is minus 3. Similarly, we can find for uh, by this method for minus 4 and for 9. If you put minus 4, uh, the first one and the third one will be 0 when uh, attending this minus 4. And only we have a2 and we can find a2. So it will be, now it will be. A2 is, so just put minus 4 here, minus 4 minus 1, it is minus 5, and minus 4 minus 9, it is 30. So minus 30 and minus 5, it is just uh, plus 65. 65 A2 equals 2. Now, here we need to put uh, minus 4. So it will be uh, minus 4 squared, this is 16. Uh, minus 4 minus 38, it is uh, 32, 152 plus, and 158. Okay, when we adding them, we will get a2 is 5 after solving the equation. And similarly, we can find for 9. Here, just put 9 instead of x over here. And this is 0, a1 is, and this is also 0 here. Uh, and we have just this one and putting 9 to the left side also. Uh, we can get a3, and a3 will be minus. You can check it by yourself. This is second method. Method of substitution of fluid values. You can see here how to find with this method one more time. Okay, now, example number two, find the normal form of rational fraction. Uh, this is same with the previous example, and uh, let's do it together. So, 2x, um, 
right. 2x squared plus 5x plus 5 over x minus 1, x plus 1, and x plus 2. And now, it equals 2. So, however, we have just linear uh, factor, factor, so we get a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 1 and plus c over x plus 2. Okay, now here we have. three coefficients a b c you can write a1 a2 a3 or just a b c it doesn't matter it's your case so uh, now now we need to find this coefficient so here we need to give a common denominator it will be x plus one and x plus 2 okay so here x minus 1 with uh, x plus 2 and in third term here x plus x minus 1 and x plus 1 just give me common denominator fcd okay now we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 5 equals to a times x plus 1 x plus 2 then plus b x minus 1 times x plus 2 and the plus uh, C x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now, let's use the second method, method of substitution. And here, just finding the roots, zeros, I mean, zeros of denominator. So, uh, as I said in previous example we need to find this unknown coefficient let's find them by, by the second method method of substitution and to find by this method firstly we need to uh, find zeros of denominator this is they are x is 1 x is minus 1 and x is minus 2 and let's check for them uh, this equation putting these values so here we have if you put one this one and this one will be zero and we get just here we need to put one one plus one is two one plus two it is three three times two this is six six a equals two uh, if you put here one it will be two times one two plus five plus five so it is twelve Hence, a is 2. So, uh, we get the first coefficient to find. So, first coefficient a is 2. Now, next one. Minus 1. If you put minus 1, this is 0. And this is also 0. We have just b here. So, it will be now. If you put minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, it is minus 2. Minus 1 plus 2, it is. 1 so it is minus 2b minus 2b equals 2 let's put here minus 1 it is 2 minus 5 plus 5 it is 0 so it is just 2 hence b is minus 1 b is minus 1 and now uh, what's our 
third one it is just if it is minus two so uh, if you put minus two the first one and the second one will be zero we have just c here and let's find this c it will be uh, minus two minus one minus three minus two plus one it is minus one so uh, minus three minus two minus one minus three minus three minus one it is just three three c equals two and now this one yes let's put here minus two it will be uh, minus two three it's just four two times four it is eight eight mm, plus uh, minus ten plus five it is five eight So here we if we put minus two, let's check one more time. Put minus two, it will be four. Four times it is eight. Here we have uh, five times minus two, it is minus ten. Plus five, it is minus five. Eight minus five, it is three. So hence c is one. So we found our coefficients. Now uh, let's put here instead of a, b, c. This unknown coefficient, uh, and then we get elementary fractions. So it will be. Let me continue here. Uh, it is a is two. It means two over x minus one. The first one. Then minus one. B is minus one. Minus one over x plus one. And the C is 1. So plus 1 over x plus 2. x plus 2. This is final answer. Okay, now example number three. Let's given fraction. Find the normal form of this fraction. So, again, here we need to find what uh, the composition of fraction dividing this fraction to elementary fraction. So, now uh, let's begin again with uh, writing this fraction as the composition of elementary, elementary fractions. So here we have two uh, two x squared two x squared uh, plus two x plus three over one x minus two look here the first one is just linear x minus two but the second one with this uh, squared and this is uh, second degree polynomial and also we have here power of this polynomial okay now it means it's equal to a, the first one is just a, over x minus 2. Uh, the next one is plus, however, this is uh, non linear, so second degree polynomial. We need to write in the numerator first degree polynomial. So it will be bx plus c. Over x squared plus 1. This is first one. And then plus b, a, b, c, t, x plus e 
four x squared plus one squared. Now we need to find this unknown coefficient. And now let's uh, give a common denominator to find this coefficient. A so A times uh, here we have x squared plus one squared plus bx plus c uh, times two x squared plus 1 one more time and uh, times x minus 2 and the next plus 1 plus bx plus c times x squared plus uh, x minus 2 Okay, now, and now, uh, this is equals to left side of our equation. So, 2x squared plus 2x plus 30. And now, let's compare the coefficients of uh, polynomials we get so let's find only a fourth degree because the higher degree here is fourth degree for x fourth it will be uh, this is a yes because here we have uh, x second second it is And uh, where, where we have again x squared, here we have bx plus x squared plus uh, times, uh, I mean bx times x squared times x, here we will get x squared, so plus b, a plus b, but uh, on the right side we don't have any x fourth degree, here the highest one is x squared, that's why the coefficient of x squared four will be zero. This is another method of finding unknown coefficient. First one. Now okay. uh, next one x cubed. Uh, what we have when we find x cubed. Here we have x squared fourth plus uh, two x squared plus one yes we will get it so we don't have here x cubed when we have x cubed here so when b x times x squared times minus two so minus two b so we need to just open this bracket and grouping uh, like terms minus two b and uh, when we have here we have c times x times x yes plus c but the coefficient of x cubed is also zero and now the next one is x squared so what we have when we find x squared uh, so here we have 2a from the first one 2a then x times x just b and then here uh, just uh, minus 2c minus 2 And the next one is plus b. From this one. Plus b. And uh, 
coefficient of x squared is 2. So they are equal to 2. And now next coefficient, this is x. Coefficient of x. Let's compare them. So uh, the x, where we get x, we get here minus 2b minus 2b and the next one is uh, so where we get it yeah plus c that's c times one times Minus 2b and plus c. It goes on this way, yes? And the coefficient of x is 2. So it's equals to 2. Okay. And now the last term, it's uh, the is 0 power so x power of 0 this is in the parent condition this is first power so in the parent conditions are a just a then do we have yeah here we have minus 2c minus 2 Last one is this one e minus two e. So uh, this is sorry. Okay, now we have the system of equations, the mechanics of equations with the unknown coefficient a, b, c, d, e, e and five equations if the number of variables equals to the number of equation uh, this equation we can solve Okay, now, uh, it's very easy, for example, here we, from the first equation we have a equals to minus b, and then we can connect uh, c with a, yes, uh, for example, here we have uh, c is equals to 2b, same time b is minus a so it is uh, minus 2a and then we can put here and connect with b and then with e and with the five uh, with the fifth equation uh, we'll have we will get it a and uh, after finding a we can find other ones as well as a result can write here a is here we can take it one b is minus one b is minus one c is minus two d is minus is minus 4 so uh, we 
of this condition a b c d e g and uh, to uh, write our uh, fraction in form elementary fractions now it will be equals to so a was 1 it is 1 over x minus 2 and then b is 2 minus 1 and c is minus 2 so we have we can think of this minus and uh, x plus 2 over x squared plus 1 just putting coefficients to instead of this well i mean values instead of this coefficients and then here we have minus 3 and minus 4 so it will be 2 minus so 3x plus 4 over x squared plus 1 squared so this is final And now let's consider the next example. Uh, so find the normal form of this fraction. Uh, here we have the type of when it is a word and the when it is uh, the second digit of a number. Yeah. So the division of this uh, fraction to elementary fractions form will be the next one. So uh, it will be a over x plus 2 for the first one, yeah? And the plus b over x minus 1 and then plus c over x minus 1 squared because of this squared, yes? The time is finished to write x minus 1 squared and uh, plus the last one for this one x squared plus one it will be the dx plus e over x squared plus one however this is second degree polynomial and similarly with the previous example we can find these unknown coefficients a b c d and e so I think it will be better if you do it by yourself at home. Uh, take this, find this, uh, find the value of this coefficient, and check your answer. So uh, this is this example is I said it's the same with the previous one, and you can find by this method. Comparing the like terms, the coefficients of like terms of polynomials, the left side of your equation is this one, and the right side is this one. So giving, you, you first you need to give a common denominator and compare the like coefficient of like terms. Okay, so uh, here one more example, example number five. It's given the fraction and find the normal form of this uh, fraction so here also we have uh, let I will write the form of elementary fractions it will be a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared yes because of uh, this squared and uh, plus x plus d over this one x squared plus one 
it one more time. How about we have again uh, the squared and the plus dx plus f over dx squared plus 1 squared. this form it will be and you need to find your coefficient from the equation and try to do this one also by yourself this is for for you to explain uh, so do you summary for this topic we have four type. I show four types of uh, elements of fractions, and uh, uh, you need to divide, decompose your uh, fraction only using this one of these types of uh, elements of fractions. And uh, if we have the aligner one, it will be just a b c d yes just uh, zero power function if you have uh, second power it will be first power in numerator so if your denominator have n power in numerator will be n minus one one power and if you have squared or n power it will be uh, it will continue till n power like this x minus 1 x minus square if you have here cubit we need a read to write here x minus 1 cubit also and this we call after finding the coefficients we will write we will put uh, into this coefficient variable uh, uh, the uh, values of these coefficients and we will get the decomposition of fraction if you have any questions, you can uh, write uh, to us in uh, in LM in LMS portal. So uh, in Moodle, uh, there are, there we have chat and or uh, or section uh, questions. You can write your question. Thank you for attention.